ready. And the testing ground. It says a school. So that's madness. A school. The teachers, the parents. It's too open, too public. It's perfect. They'll find out what we're doing. Only when it's too late. It's already too late. Nothing in the world can stop me. Where's Marcy? Late. Marcy's always two minutes, 30 seconds late, precisely. Robert Coles was going on about her the other day. Which Robert Coles? Robert Coles with no chin or Robert Coles with nasty shoes? Nasty shoes. Don't tell me. He said Marcy was weird. Well, he said we were weird. He said two fifth years shouldn't be hanging out with a little third year. Said it wasn't natural. He's right. It is weird. I've never seen shoes like it. Two minutes, 30 seconds late, precisely. Sandwiches? Sandwiches? Sandwiches are for nibblers. What have you got for lunch? Oh, well, I thought... Well, you have them. Keep them. Eat them. I'm off. Don't move till I get back. Oh, dear. When you go, in, in. How do you do? How do you do? Yes, yes, come on, we're late. Morning. on the left. How rude. What do you mean, something in the air? Something wrong. I don't know what. Something just out of sight. It's Mondays. Mondays are always wrong. Mondays are a crime. You only get Mondays and Monday in bed. But you two are no help. All you can do is quote Garfield T-shirts. Think for a moment. But everything's normal. Normal. Normal is for the comatose. If I'm to teach you two anything, it's this. Wherever you are, whoever you are, there is always a strangeness in things. You just have to know where to look. Now, take this. A yoghurt pot. Fruits of the forest. In the street. In the street. Oh, crisp packets in the street, Coke tins in the street, yes, but a yoghurt pot? Now, think. When have you ever, ever seen someone walking down the street eating a yoghurt? Huh? Have you ever eaten a yoghurt in the street? A yoghurt? Uh, well, no. Well, so what's it doing here, then? What's the story behind this pot?
on the sly and ate it before they got home. Not bad, except I can't think of a diet that doesn't allow yoghurt. True. Suppose a couple are flaming now in the kitchen and threw things at each other, and one ran out and the other one threw a yoghurt pot after them. Suppose someone just dropped this out of the shopping bag. Uh, Thomas, this yoghurt's been eaten. Uh, and then perhaps somebody else finds the yoghurt and eats it. Oh, you mean someone just happened to be walking down the street with this boot? No. So it's no to the diet, no to the fighting, no to the shopping. Give up. What? It's Peter and us. What has? Well, the yoghurt pot. What yoghurt pot? This one. You two are no help. It's a yoghurt pot. It was probably dropped by the bin men. Where is this? This is mysterious. What is? Computers. Lots of computers. What's all this? Miss? Excuse me, miss. My homework, miss. What? Oh, Olivia. Uh, you're with me after lunch. You can give it to me then. Miss, you've got a free lesson this morning. So you could mark it and give it back to me at lunchtime. Then I could spend lunchtime seeing what I got wrong, and that way I'll be ahead. After lunch. Oh, pity. Lydia, who are these people? Oh, don't you know? The headmaster knows. No one told us about this. No one ever tells us anything. But then, as someone once said, never listen to what people tell you, only what you tell yourself. Who said that? Marcy. Marcy. My neighbour. Your neighbour? My neighbour, Mrs. Polzinski. She had the oddest look on her face. As if she was scared. Good morning. Livy. Marcy, I just thought I'd remind you. Miss Maitland's expecting her homework in after lunch. And? Well, I know how forgetful you are about things like homework. So that gives you a warning to worry. Gravity readings are normal, so it must be an Earth child, though it bears little resemblance to the rest of the species. Fifth years are so impressive. Say, so, Libby, what's the drop? The drop? The geeks in the boiler suits. Oh, don't you know? There's a special assembly. The headmaster's got news for us. Uh, uh, as the gin is out of action, the uh, badminton practice will be held in, in the main hall, the, uh, um, the assembly hall, the, in here. Uh, yes. Now, um, we have had a number of complaints about the behaviour on the buses. Now, you must remember that when you leave the school, you are the ambassadors. Can I have some silence? Can we have some signs, please? You are the ambassadors. Now, I have an announcement. The junior choir is to room in meet five. Meet in room five at the break. Now, I'm delighted to report that the uh, inter-school chess team has um, lost. Yes, well, you must remember that it's not uh, when the great scorer comes to write your name. It's not whether you won or lost, but uh, uh, how you play the game. So, uh, I, I have a, a special announcement. I must have some silence. Uh, a special announcement. Now, some of you may have noticed, or, or not, as the case may be, that uh, silence, please.
in an act of remarkable generosity, our benefactor, Mr. Eldridge, founder of Abbas Moden, has offered to install the first of his new range, the Abyss Mark I, in every classroom free of charge. And he has offered to give the Abyss home computer to every child in the school. <laughs> computers will arrive at lunchtime and you will be free to take one home at the end of the day. <laughs> Not wonderful. And so it begins. Well, you'll have to, Olivier. They aren't yours till the end of the day. How am I going to teach this afternoon with you lot all whipped up? It's just super. It's a biz lot of mental. They're giving away thousands of quid. Where's Marcy? She said she'd be here at 12.30. Oh, always two and a half minutes late, precisely. Isn't it super? Sunglasses. Has anyone thanked him? Well, honestly, manners cost nothing. There he is. What's his name? Mr. Eldridge. Super. Wow. The business. And free. There's no such thing as a free computer. No! Oh, Marcy, it's a gift. Gifts are for the needy. I could need one of those, easy. Yeah. Look, we're going to leave well alone. If I'm to teach you one thing, it's this. Trust me. I shall insist upon seeing the headmaster personally to tell him how very, very grateful we all are. You're interested in computers? Oh, yes, Mr. Eldridge. I'm top of the computer club. Dr. Osley, this could be the young lady we're looking for. No, sir. No. You've got to be able to see the whole pattern. The pattern that binds events together. The pattern joining a good deed, a bad man, and us. And when you see that whole pattern, Thomas, only then, Thomas, only then, Reed, only then do you get involved. If we might borrow the young lady for some publicity shots, the benefactor and the beneficiary. After all, there is no generosity without publicity these days. She does have afternoon lessons. Perhaps we should wait. 40 sir. minutes. No more. Well, if you've got the headmaster's permission... Permission? I have the headmaster's blessing. Come. I'm going to be in the papers, miss. Patterns don't make sense close up. They're just a jumble of lines. You have to stand back. You! Stay here! Watch them! Watch who? Them! It's me. Watch them, she said. If 
we could get a really good look before anyone else. Look, on the line, Reed, at the end of the day, everyone's going to take a computer home. So if we take one now, what's the difference? No, Marcy said, leave well alone. It doesn't matter what Marcy said. We're older than her. She isn't in charge of us. Well, she doesn't have to know. We'll stash it at my garage. There and back before lunch is over. All righty. The machine, young lady. The machine is a thing of truth in an inconstant age. If you care for the machine, if you respect the machine, if you love the machine, you may be a part of its truth. He's, he's just... The programme isn't clean. I've said from the start, only the professor can formulate the perfect programme. Then let us find the imperfections in your work, Doctor. Olivia. It is Olivia, isn't it? Are you ready? Then let's begin. You're afraid of your own shadow, Marcy. So Mr Eldridge is a fool with his money. Why should we complain? Then he doesn't give you the creeps. Something is afoot. Oh, Marcy Hatter, you're a case study in paranoia. Oh, and quite right, too. Paranoia is an intelligent form of common sense. None of us knows what's going on around us any of the time. I mean, look at this. How many people know how a simple light switch works? We're all in the dark. And it's getting darker. What shall I... What do you want me to do now? The machine is your friend, Olivia. What would you say upon welcoming a new friend? Say hello, Olivia. Children, that box. What's in that box? It's a computer. We've all got one. Where are you taking it? Home. Adios. Adios. An 
And another thing. How come all those vans had their licenses paid only in the last five days? And every single van was... Marcy, enough questions. I'm trying to have a quiet lunchtime. This is one of the precious few days when I'm not on duty out there. I usually have my lunch running around the yard. You don't have yoghurt, do you? Yes, why? Nothing. Fruit of the forest. Happiness. You're on edge today. Am I? I haven't been sleeping. Too much noise. Noise? At night? Well, it's noise from somewhere. Right on the edge of town. Machinery. Though why they have to do it in the middle of the night is beyond me. Marcy, I said enough questions. Oh, unless I can ask you one. Just the one. Why the canoe paddle? We well, never know when you're going to be up the creek. We're going to be late back. Then let's be very late. Olivia. How are you? Splendid. Thank you, Mr. Eldridge. It's getting late. Time for your afternoon lessons. You can't send her back. Not after what we've just done to her. I forbid it, sir. I absolutely forbid it. Impulses stab in the dark, Thomas, but I think you have to switch it on. There's a real possibility of danger, sir. No one's ever been able to complete a field study. This is your study, Osley. Watch this. Watch the girl. So, what do we do? Say hello. She'll be here any minute, whereas your homework... She's here. Miss Maitland, sorry I'm late.
said, I'm sorry I'm late. Back up generators. The whole town's gone out. Tell Mr. Eldritch now. Uh, Robert Coles, don't take your shoes off. There's glass everywhere. And uh, Douglas, would you go get Mr. Walters, please? Yes. A power cut. A power surge. The lights exploded. The lights exploded. Douglas, I said now, and I meant now. Yes, miss. Is everybody all right? No cuts. Seems we were lucky. Lucky? Olivia, do you feel lucky? Marcy, do sit down. There's glass everywhere. Sit down. Mind the glass. What are we talking about? She was on fire. Olivia stood in that doorway brighter than the sun. The lights exploded. The lights exploded. Right. Thomas? Shapers, as they say. Crapers. It happens. It happens. Uh, everybody, would you wait outside while Mr. Walters cleans up? Quickly and quietly, please. Now, wait a minute. You saw her, you did. Oi! You saw her. Olivia? Marcy. She's a little shocked. The bulbs and everything. The power cut, the glass. The power surge. Dear child, it's not possible. All right, if you insist, I use the phrase power surge as a layman's term. What would probably be known as an electromagnetic pulse. Am I correct? I hope she's all right. You're worried about the girl. Well, you were standing right behind her. Surely you saw it. Saw what? A sort of... Well, what did was... you see? What did you see, teacher? Olivia... Opened the door. I saw the door opening. She stood in the doorway. I saw her in the doorway. And then? Then... The lights exploded. The lights exploded. Very good. Now do it drinking a glass of water. The electromagnetic pulse confirmed. Region knocked off national grid. Mr. Eldritch already on site. Our national grid back online. Who are you? What is your name? Tell me your name. The power's back. We mustn't keep you from your lessons. Young minds have so much to absorb. Come along, Olivia. Come along. Eric. Until the next time. Olivia, you are... You are all right, aren't you? I mean... Tell the teacher how you feel, Olivia. Splendid. 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 You've been off your chump before, but this is shrieking insanity. Olivia lights up like the North Star, and you sent in a home economic. Is that enough? I've had enough of your lit, my girl. Don't you ever, ever talk to me like that again. You treated her like an experiment, a successful experiment. Unless we're the experiment and she's the control. 
What's symbiosis? It's derived from the ancient Greek, meaning man with bad breath. How should I know? You'll have to tell Marcy about this. It was your idea. She's going to flip. She'd dance on my head. She'd gut me and use me as a canoe. I only took it to... Rita, the keyboard's superficial. There's a flatbed digitizer underneath. We've interfaced a single membrane grid. Marcy! Go to your lessons. Go to your work. Yes, Mr. Eldridge. Sir, I strongly urge that we send her for... Leave her go. She's only the first. Splendid. He takes her away and in one lunchtime he does something to her. We don't know what or how. What we do know about him is this. And at the end of the day, everyone's going to be taking one of these home. The first of many. Soon they shall be legion. Yes, but that pulse, sir, such a public display. They all saw it. People, Dr. Austin. People believe in the unseeable, but will not see the unbelievable. The machine, Dr. Osley. Only the machine sees true. When do they go home? Who, sir? My children. <coughs> what did I say, Ree? How did I say it? How do you feel? It's gone now. But back there, as I said it, I didn't just say it. I understood it. They'll understand. They're actually going to do it. You're going ahead with it, aren't you? Tonight. Tonight, the children will go home. And they will put aside childish things. And they will turn to the machine. And the machine will embrace them. Children. You've seen it. What do you mean? You've seen it. It's there. In your eyes. Adios. Go away! Go! Marcy, I've got a class waiting. Yeah. Are you first years? Yeah. All first year to the South Hall. Compulsory class, Latin American studies. Oh. Yeah. Arima, Arima, Andale! Oh, Bring them back. I saw it, you saw it, the world and her husband saw it, and no one saw a thing. Brilliant. We pack. Pack. Go away. Thank you very much, Mr. Walters. Marcy, I've got a class to teach. Go get them. I'm not stopping you. Oh, Marcy, I don't know what to think. You probably don't know this feeling. You're too young. It's called useless. This is a rum do. Its rumness is beyond compare. If I had a rumometer, the needle would be in the ceiling. 
Go on, what did you see? Oh, Marcy, there wasn't time. I saw Olivia and she was shining, shining white. Only I didn't just see it, I felt it. That when your cardigan is full of static and you feel it in your hair and your skin and your teeth. I felt that. What did you feel? And about time. Tell me the worst. Please, we've been here years. We cannot run. We ran before. We run now. Counting down. The children will be going home within the hour. It's confirmed, sir. The girl Olivia expelled an electromagnetic pulse. Obviously. Yes, sir. Obvious to us, but... It's just that that other girl, the strange little girl in the classroom, she identified it as electromagnetic. If anyone guesses the nature of my work... Your work? Your work? The professor's work. The professor's work. These are yours. Graham's been searching out the professor for three months without success. We'll find him. Why? Afraid for your position, Dr. Osley? No, sir. Well, then perhaps you should be. When the professor abandoned his work, he left much unfinished. Imagine how the intervening years will have added to his achievements. If you'll excuse me, sir, we've recreated his achievements here. We've bettered them. And he can't have done any practical work in what? 30 years. How much did she know? Sir? The girl. The strange little girl. Then the power went just in time. The light disappeared. Well, that's what happened here. But the light didn't come from the computer. It came from Olivia. It, it seemed to come from Olivia, or that direction. Sounds like Livy hit the ready brick too hard. I bet what happened to us happened to her. We don't know that anything happened. But with her, it finished the job. A million abyss computers. People are going to take them into their own homes. You two can have a hand like mine. Oh, Thomas. Oh, let's be rational. It's a new form of keyboard. Maybe not even that. Maybe it's a design fault. You feel it. You feel those keys move. Here, inside, like a spike in the middle of your head. Somewhere you can't see it and it's horrible. And it seems to make sense on the tip of your mind. All in a flash. It's like you understand computers, software, everything. But then it goes. But in that second, it's like having him in there. Eldritch, the Ray-Ban man, thank you, ma'am. What do we do? Go to the police. Police? Police? Police are for the illegal, it's beyond that. Now calm down, the three of you. Listen to yourselves. You're weaving a wonderful conspiracy theory here. Oh, you make it all sound very dark and grand and exciting. But I might just point out that nobody's done anything wrong. Nothing. All you've got as evidence are a few faulty computers, some broken light bulbs, and a man... a man... well, a man you just don't like. I mean, it's hardly the end of the world. As Marcy once said, if you haven't got the answers, use good question. She said that? Yeah. Where was I then? Ill. So... So, who is Mr Eldridge? What does he want? How's he gonna get it? Why does he want it? So... You two! You two! If you need information, that's what this is for! Sit down! Don't, Marcy, I hate it! Tough! Ask it some questions. It taps into you, you tap into it. Now, think! What's this? Filters. Which are? Type of sort. Look like mathematical expressions. Consist of a field number and associated expressions. Oh, Thomas, don't be silly. Shush. Marcy, this hurts. Keep going. 
You're in. In where? Shush! Someone's in there. Move on. Marcy. On! Just by thinking it? Symbiosis. On! Who is this? On! I don't know how you're doing this, but I know what it's called. Hacking. And it's breaking the law. Where hacking is hacking? Tell me. This is an encrypted file. From another source. Not Eldrit. Eldrit is trying to access it. Another source. Government. You're putting a trace on, sir. Wait! Name? Do you know that man? Thomas, tell me what this file is. Defection. They're reading it. They're reading it faster than we've ever done. Nineteen sixty one, he abandons his work and defects to Britain. They change his name, his whole identity. Everything! All to keep him hidden! But he's not hidden, he's your name! Don't! Impossible! We have him! Move! Did I do that? You thought it, Thomas. You thought it and it appeared there. <laughs> have I done something wrong? But who is that man? In 1961, he was Professor Begdinsky. Now he's Mr. Polzinski, and he's in trouble. What's he got to do with Eldridge? Your questions. Remember, Marcy said Mr. Eldridge looked like a kid with a new toy. Maybe he's a kid with a stolen toy. Now the Professor shall stand by my side. Do it. Come on! Where? If I'm to teach you two anything, it's this. Shut up and do as I say. Out! Marcy, don't you dare leave the premises. School hasn't finished. When that bell rings and the school has finished, Miss Maitland, it's the end of the world. I'm sorry you couldn't believe us. Where will we go? Anywhere.
the poet are of imagination all compact. One sees more devils in vast hell can hold. That is the madman. <laughs> some fear. How easy is a bush supposed to bear? But all the story of the night told over, and all their minds, minds transfigured so together, were witnesseth then fancy images, and grows to something of great constancy, but howsoever strange and ignorant. Right, stop there. Stay here, don't move. Professor, someone's after you. A man called Eldridge. He now knows who you are and where you are. That's my fault. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Oh, yes, you do. Eldridge has got hold of your work. He's going to use it tonight. We've got to burn rubber, Marcy. My house. Far too late. Stay here. You and me, mister. Save you now, child. Stupid, stupid children.
Do nothing. Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> we thought ourselves safe. When we were young, we saw the danger of the program and we fled here. Your government gave us sanctuary, it, it changed our names and hid us away. Told us we'd be safe. What do we do now? I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, you must know something. Oh, Thomas, leave her alone. You've come a long way with me. Don't let me down now. What's happening? If I were here to give answers, I'd open an answer shop. Think for yourself. Okay. Polzinski invented the Abyss computer, right? Except his real name's Bekjinski. Gotcha. And along comes Eldritch. I dread to think what his real name is. How do you mean? Nothing. And Eldritch is going to start up the whole shebang again. The symbiosis thing here. Tonight. And Rita hostage. He's taken her so we won't talk or go to the police. Wrong. Wrong? Reach just part of the pattern. The dance he's leading us. He's taken her so that we'll follow. He wants us there at the end. So what are we waiting for? A lift. What is going on? me to believe any of this. You're right, I don't. Oh. Where are we going? The Abyss Factory. Well, how am I supposed to know where that is? You can't sleep. What? You can't sleep. You told me you heard machinery on the edge of town at night. That's where. Marcy! In! A temple in dedication to your work. My work, sir? Dr. Osley, one of your acolytes. This is a den of madmen. But you were the first of the madmen, Professor. This is all your creation. I am a creature of little imagination. I build what I can on the vanities and mistakes others leave behind. I abandoned all this. Nothing brought into existence can then be undone. That is the trap men set themselves. Oh, well, it's going to be a right cock up then, isn't it? And here, another acolyte. How's that then? You have seen it, child. The splendor of light. Maybe. It's there. I see it in your eyes. You have seen its glory. Yes. So, all that electromagnetic palaver. Look, there's an electromagnetic field around all living things, right? And around the computer. Exactly. The field connects the mind to the machine. So they join together. 
That's what happened with the computer in my garage, yeah? Symbiosis. What's that? It's two different things depending on each other. A bit like man and his dog. Well, that's what Bektinsky invented. The perfect user-friendly computer. Friendly? But now, instead of hooking up to a database, we're linking up with something far more dangerous. The mind of Mr. Eldridge. I'm not listening to any of this. Oh, yes, you are. It's going to be a right mess. All those kids, all those computers, all switching on at different times. You'll get one or two, but then the whistle's going to blow. Light represents a home. A home containing an active Abyss computer. That many? Ready? The machines are running as ordinary home computers at first. We can't risk a random symbiosis. Our experiment on Olivia taught us that. From here, we can activate the symbiosis program in all machines. In the same moment. The optimum time. We've calculated when the most machines will be in use. One magnificent blaze of light. And all the children will stand with me. Well, they're all going home. And Eldridge has turned their homes into a trap. Eldridge has corrupted the program. Symbiosis is man and machine in harmony. This is more like a parasite. Burn rubber, honey. Thomas, one more word and I'm heading back. Prepare her. And we were getting on so well. And now, Professor. Since the good Dr. Osley has set all this up, you might be wondering what we need from you. You are to start work on the transformation. Transformation? What? Transformation. Marcy. It's going to be another question. Yep. What are we going to do when we get there? Well, I don't know. But look at us. Two old women and two little kids. Unbeatable. I speak of the transformation that is to come, Professor. Your task is to translate the program into a computer virus. We shall not be limited by Abyss hardware. The symbiosis program will transmit to any computer, anywhere, wherever there is electricity. World without end, forever and ever. You would control everything. I want no part of control. I will draw together the reins of power, only to scatter them. The world will pass from light to dark. Chaos. Sweet, eternal chaos. This is it, the final step of the dance. Marcy? You're not coming. No. Then you'd better go. I should take Mrs. Pozinski home. I think she's in shock. I think we're both- Too old. Yes, perhaps. Sorry. I can believe this only so far. Not far enough. Useless. No, she isn't. She brought us here and she hasn't tried to stop us. That's more than most. You and me, boy. No chance for a cup of tea, is there?
Stop. Look stupid. Hold on. Thomas, you are dead meat. I never said I had to be nimble. Our guests have arrived. Welcome. Oh, I've forgotten so much. Then start remembering. You don't want to get on the wrong side of Eldridge. You're scared of him. Why do you follow him? You're a scientist. You can see what he's doing. You can see that it's wrong. This building has always been a bad place. Yeah? Mm. It was a munitions factory in World War I. Before that, it was a workhouse. Before that, who knows? Plague house, lime pits, something bad. I wonder how long Mr. Eldridge has been here? Bingo! Think about what you are doing. Each one of those lights represents a child, possibly an entire family, sitting at one of your machines. Mosley, together we could stop the program. Jump the joint, round up rate, and leg it like mental, right? Marcy? Marcy! So send me to Ballstall. Won't you tell me something? It's difficult to believe anything those children say. Go home. It's too late. There's nothing anyone can do. Oh, well, good night then. Hence, Dr. Osley. We are the only ones who can stop him. Eldridge is utterly insane. Yes. Yes, he's mad. And I'm with the madman. What? The world is mad, Professor. A mad, bad place. What Eldridge plans is an evil thing, but the world deserves no better. Splendid. Now prove yourself, Dr. Osley. The children are home. The computers are ready. Start the countdown. We saw this with heaven all those years ago. We saw we'd invented a 
dark science. And you thought you could turn away. Surely you knew this moment would arrive. Oh, yes. We knew. This program is an abomination. You should keep him away. You're the only one who could stop this, Professor. Instead, you just have to watch. Squabbling and scrabbling and whimpering to the end. Way to go! Think how this will be remembered, Professor. In your name. This is your work. The final creation of Professor Bizinski. Listen to me, Olivia. Speed up, Marcy! Think, Olivia. Think back. Think what we used to be like at school. Marcy, you hated each other. Good point. Don't think back. Oh, yes, I see. Look. The magnificent work of Professor Bashinsky. Poor, simple Professor Bashinsky, who thought the world was full of good men. Innocent Professor Bashinsky, who never thought ahead. Marcy! who was cleverer than you will ever know. <laughs> Professor Bashinsky is my wife! Professor Bishinsky is my wife. Beginning we planned before we published the first paper we prepared. We lied to everyone because we knew that in some shape or form, under some name or other, Eldridge would come. What do we do now? Oh, question! We leg it, stupid. Always there. Interfering. Holding me back. A little girl with no name. I was in the right place at the right time. This is my time. My hour. No, not yet. Action! Ah! <laughs> 
Don't use It's cleansing itself. Make it stop. I wouldn't know how. And so it ends. Useless now, junk. Mrs. Polzinski, Bekjinski, whoever she is, wiped the whole system clean. Shouldn't we go and tell the police? What do you want to know? Thomas, if I'm to teach you anything, it's this. Keep your head down. Let them talk to Olivia. What about Mr. Eldridge? Gone, vanished, moved on. Until the next time. The next time? The next time. The waiting is over. Our time has come. The task can begin. Ah, the behemoth awakes. turn you back for a weekend and they've rebuilt half the school. Yeah, they aren't building, they're digging. Leg up. Up. Blimey, O'Reilly oh, left dug up half the sports field. Flipping nerve. They never told us. Thomas, the only time you set foot on the sports field is for the fire drill. I wonder what's cooking. I don't like signs that say, out of bounds, keep off the grass, no entry. They never tell you why. Oh, watch it. Children, like savages. No discipline. Things will change, Inga, things will change. The school could be a problem. Mr. Brighton? Arrange a visit. Let some of the savages and their keepers see the dig. They might ask questions. Oh, they will. But remember, Inga, they are an ignorant people. If we give them some small answers, the greater questions will go unasked. 
and even if they should see our true purpose, let them be the first to spread the word that things will change. The world will change, Inga. Could be the sewers. Maybe unexploded bombs. Well, you two. If I'm to teach you two anything, it's this. Never guess. Something's wrong, isn't it? Yes. Why? I mean, what makes you think so? It's a time for things to be wrong. What, quarter to nine in the morning? Time in general. It's the end of the century. End of a whole thousand years soon. Powerful times. A time for strange things to happen. Listen. Behemoth. The feet must still be intact. Without us, the behemoth will remain forever in the past. We must bring it into the light. That is our task, our purpose. <coughs> Sorry. I was just wondering if I'm not interrupting. What is it, Luke? Well, everybody else seems to be busy. I've got nothing to do. That is, it should be. This is a dangerous place, Luke. You must take care of yourself. No harm must come to you. Oh. There's a party of school children arriving after lunch. Show them round. But I don't know. Lie to them. They're only children. And take care. You must not be damaged. You must stay just as you are. Perfect. Oh, not again. It's the sports field fenced off. It's like an army camp out there. We just want to know what's going on. You mean you're suspicious, as usual? Look, it's some sort of archaeological dig. That's all I know. They found something under the sports field. A tomb, I think. A tomb? Wowza, grave robbers. Oh, it's all official. The headmaster's given his permission. That's no surprise. If you told head tomorrow was Christmas Day, you'd put up a tree. What sort of tomb? Well, I don't know. Teachers are the last to find out in this school. Whatever it is, it's old and dead and harmless. It's not the Temple of Doom. Mm, it's a bit strange. A bit sudden. Only to you three. You'd see danger in a bread bin. Well, we were right last time. Perhaps. Never really knew what happened last time, did we? No. You're an odd lot. Why can't you be like the other kids and get into fights and trouble and ordinary things? If I live to be 90, I'll never understand you three. It's 90. Uh, Marcy? Always plan ahead. How deep should we go? The behemoth will tell us. It will reach out from the darkness of its tomb. It wants life, Inga. It shall live this day. This way. I'm afraid you have to stick to the designated area. Some of the digging can be quite dangerous. Come on, everyone. Now be careful. Oh, Thomas, Rita, I told you before lunch. This is for third years only. Uh, where with Marcy? Deputy Hall. I'm hardly dressed for this. Well, neither's he. Who? The boy. We're being shown round by a kid. Still, at least he's a handsome dude. Miss Maitland, what was here before they built the school? Um, I can't remember. Uh, buildings. Fancy putting a school on top of a tomb. Ugh. Quite appropriate, really. Miss Maitland? Come on. Do you know why they started burying people? Way back in the Stone Age times. It wasn't out of respect for the dead. It was to protect the living. To stop bodies rising from the grave and walking the earth. Uh, Robert Coles, mind yourself. Keep away from the edge. I won't go into detail, or the kids won't understand me. Nor me. I don't know the first thing about archaeology. Oh, right, tell me what you think. First impressions. Um. Uh... No, don't analyse. First impressions. Tip of the tongue now. Uh... Oh, well, um. Uh... A bulldozer. Good, a bulldozer on an archaeological dig. Not exactly subtle. It's like trying to sew wearing boxing gloves. And? And 
Ah. Uh, uh, pipes. Good. Pipes. Water pipes. And? Blondes. What? Well, everyone working here's got blonde hair. Good point. So they have. You three! Over here, now! They were working on the gas mains when they made the first discovery. What we hope to find is a grave, possibly even a warrior's tomb. Earliest indications are that it might date back to 400 BC, which would coincide with the Celtic migration from Middle Europe. Doesn't it ever worry you, digging up graves? Yeah, sort of. At the very least, we hope to uncover the burial site of a Celtic warrior, possibly even a chieftain. At the very least. Pardon? What do you hope to find at the very most? The Beamer. In this very place, we may have uncovered the final resting place of the Beamoth itself. What's the Beamoth? <laughs> the Beamoth. A huge creature. The mightiest creature in Celtic legend. A beast. Born in Scathak, the Phantom Land, that did walk the islands, casting madness in its shadow. Then Camulus and Tyrannicus, the gods of war, did unite against the behemoth and cast it into the ground. It was sealed in its tomb with the rites of magic, never to see the light again. And there the behemoth did rage forevermore, bound in despair, awaiting its release from torment. Perhaps here, perhaps today, Almost ready. Miss Pendragon must be here. Pendragon. Miss Pendragon. I hope I didn't frighten the little ones. Oh, they're a hard lot. A story, that's all it is. We're made of sterner stuff these days. Not for us, these tales of magic, eh? This is the 20th century. The end of the century. Quite so. A turning point, an important time. Perhaps legend in itself, who knows? Miss Pendragon. Oh. Duty calls. Enjoy yourselves. I'll leave you in Luke's capable hands. Luke, take care. Wow, sir. This is a new one, Legends and Curses. Yeah, I don't suppose you believe in monsters, Marcy. Oh, but I do. Concrete. Very Celtic. What did you tell them? Some of the truth. Peasant stock. This is one of the first objects we retrieved. Carbon dating shows it's two and a half thousand years old. What's it made of? Iron. Can't carbon date iron. Well, it's a sort of iron. A sort of iron? Yeah. You mean cast iron. You can carbon date that. Yeah, cast iron, that's what I meant. Of course you did. Mercy! Oh, don't listen to me, I'm just a little girl. And, uh, <gasps> Moody, and so would something you be. Something wrong? Something in the air. The in the air, in my bones, in my teeth. Patterns. There are patterns forming. What? Oh, you two. You two hold me back. Cover me. What if something happens? The children are still here. Then let them witness it. These are momentous times. The end of the century. What about it? Nothing. A child said it. That scruffy little girl. The urchin. Water pipes. Water pipes. Begin. Celtic in here.
Yes! It knows we're here. The behemoth reaches out. Cool. Will you keep away from the edge? My dear Our work is only beginning. Fit personnel from the site. Wow. Um. My arm hurts. Can you move your fingers? Wow. 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 Good. Best. 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 Can you see it? Am I blind? You three. Look after the class. Do what? The class. Look after them. What do we do? Now you know how I feel every morning. Come on. You can stand. Oh, oh you live. Come on. Uh, OK. Um, Flit in a line, uh, hands on heads, all that stuff. What's going on? What's going on? Did you see it? I can hear it. That noise. It's like thunder. Or a voice. Clears the sight. Immediately. Come on, move. What's happened? We've hit a gas main. Everyone has to leave. It's not safe. Can someone lend a hand here? Look. It hurts. You stupid child. What have you done? I think his arm's broken. You're damaged, broken, useless. Yes. I think we should get him to hospital. Get him out of here! Take him away and don't come back! He's useless! She's a friend of yours, is she? It hurts! Yes, I gathered that. We've lost him! Ma'am? Luke, the chosen one. And he was perfect stock. Reek, go after them, quick, handsome dudes. <laughs> what for? Ask good questions. Right. Thomas? Yeah? You and me, boy. It has shown us the way, the path to the behemoth. And Luke? One of us will take his place. What's the drop in the Big Bang, Marcy? It came from beneath the ground. Something under here, Thomas, buried deep. But you don't believe all this beam of business, do you? Thomas, don't do an adult on me. Do what? An adult. Not seeing, not believing, not listening, even when it's exploding right in your face. That is just a legend. Fine. Nothing for you to worry about, then. We're going to the hospital. I'll graze my knee. Oh, very well, then. If you want to spend more time with me and laughing, boy, here. It hurts. I know. So, is archaeology always this dangerous, then? How should I know? Stupid job. Don't know the first thing about stupid old digs. What? What about the feed? We're still searching. Good. Keep the guards at the gate. Don't let anyone in. We must not contaminate the behemoth with ignorant voices. This is where the lines meet up. Lines? Lines of the pattern. Maybe the same pattern. Pendragon just hired me to stand there and do nothing. All I had to do was learn that Celtic stuff off by heart. 
Look at me now. So, you are nothing to do with archaeology? No. I didn't even mention it at the interview. Dead weird. All I wanted to know was, did I have anything wrong with me? In what way? Birthmarks, scars, physical defects, that sort of thing. I said no, and the job was mine. Oh, and they wanted to know if my hair was naturally blonde. Nutters. Well, I don't understand. I mean, why did they need you at the dig? Call that a dig? I wasn't the only one pretending. They don't know the first thing about archaeology either. You mean it's a fake? The whole thing is one enormous fake? Well then, what are they digging up? Now then, Thomas, a little test. Tell me what I normally say at times like this. Stand well back. Watch. Don't get involved. You know what's going on. Good. Now forget I ever said it. They will send their policemen and their soldiers and their little grey men in suits to witness what we have uncovered. And let them. Let them stand before the beer moth and see how very wrong their little world has been. Let them fall to their knees. In this mud? Oh, dirty. Get them! Thomas! Marcy! Have some of Vista! You men! Hold! Wunderbar! Stuck in a hole! Marcy, you're mad! No going back. No going anywhere. We're rats in a trap. Sir, from the school party, ma'am. Did you see him? The boy? The blonde boy? He will open the way. There's nothing here. Just a stone wall. Nice one, Thomas. Oh, heck. It calls out. It calls out to us! What is it, Marcy? What's that noise? A voice! A voice? Whose voice? Yes! It begins with a P! It lives. The Beermuth lives! Go down, Miss Pendragon. The children won't get far. Nothing has gone wrong. It was meant to be. The blonde boy has opened up the path to the Beermouth. The children are a rogue element, ma'am, not part of the plan. Inga, your task is to see that the feed remains intact. And then we wait. But what for? Instructions.
can't see a flipping thing. Marcy, nobody's been down here for 2,000 years, and you get us stuck down here. Marcy, what are we going to do? Thomas! What's the first thing you do when you walk into a 2,000-year-old Celtic warrior's tomb? Well, I don't know. Find the light switch. But we don't know what's down here. We've got to get some distance between them and us. Come on. I said I would return. Found it! The lifeline survives. Inga, the past is reaching out to us. They're going down. It said it was a hairline fracture, nothing serious. All the same, Miss. That was dead strange what Luke was saying. He knows as much about archaeology as me. As I? Yeah, you too. I wouldn't listen to Luke. He's rather highly strung, probably in shock. I remember I broke my arm once when I was a little girl. I fell off the garage roof. <laughs> it wasn't funny. I'm just laughing at the thought of you as a little girl. Oh, thank you. Miss, why would anyone fake a massive big dig on the sports field? Well, they wouldn't. It's simple as that. Luke was just a silly young man. Oh, honestly, Miss, he said it. Why wouldn't you believe what people say? Rita, you're beginning to sound just like Marcy Hatter. Where is she? You're usually with her. Where is she? How should I know? Well, if she's still on that site. Rita, that place exploded. This isn't a game. God! We're right under the school. You knew, didn't you? You knew this wasn't some freaky ancient tomb. I guessed. How? Questions. Why would someone chuck an old office building beneath the school and seal it up? Maybe vacuum sealed like coffee. That's why there was a window as a door opened. But why? One day, Thomas, I'm going to buy you a T-shirt with a great big question mark on it. Come on. You're too young to remember, Inga. How many years since I walked these corridors? Once this place was alight with work and inspiration and knowledge. And now it is so dark. But its secrets live on, Inga. Secrets that will change the world. What is this, Joyce? What's the Pendragon woman after? Questions, questions, questions. Well, you're going to ask or you're never going to know. Thomas, if you ever, ever hear me say one thing that ends in a question mark, I promise that I personally will give you ten quid. Sorry. What's that? What? Ten quid. I hate you. Perhaps I should go ahead, Miss Pendragon. So as children. Here. Yeah. You can't come in. That's orders. Young man, I'm a teacher in this school, and one of my pupils has unfortunately left, left the duffel bag here. Orders are orders. Little Hitler. Right. We've tried your way, now let's try mine. It's getting warmer. Maybe it's something to do with those pipes. Perhaps there's some kind of cooling system. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, Thomas, I knew you weren't a waste of space. Well, not always. A cooling system. Four. Another ten quid. Shut up. Or whatever it is, it can't be all that bad. 
Well, I mean, not bad compared to some flipping ginormous bear moth thing. I don't mind telling you, that gave me the creeps. All that stuff about monsters and legends and ancient powers. This is way better. Well, then you don't think the bear moth exists? Well, it can't do, can it? Behemoth. We'd better find the children. Don't harm the boy. Get rid of the girl, but leave the boy undamaged. Rita, should we be doing any of this? Look, Marcy's probably back at school. They said it was dangerous. Where are the gas vans? Gas leak, gas board, where are they? Well, then we should tell the headmaster or the police. I don't expect you to believe any of this. You're too old. Right. Dead end. I don't think so. Everything joins up here. All the water pipes, look. And that cable. Ventilation, the lot. All the lines of the pattern. Something's behind here. Bear them off. Dragon? I left this place in a hurry. I wonder why. Another ten quid. That was rhetorical. You get them for free. This is what we want. Information. Locked. Come on, do your stuff. see something to read. Rita, I never agreed to this. Leave it out. Gotcha. Nice one. I have my uses. She owes me 20 quid. Still, you wouldn't have liked her. Never brushes her hair. Whereas you, you are perfect. Perfect. You are the chosen one. Chosen one? For the behemoth. A ventilation shaft. Marvellous. I'm a cliche. Work, girl. Get the brains. Young man, your job is to stop people getting in. We're getting out. Step aside. Cancellation order. Project B H. Platinum Iridium call A1. No, no, A I. A I. A I. Nothing yet. No signal. The feed has survived these long years. It won't fail us now. So what's the drop, girls? I beg your pardon? The drop. The business. All this malarkey. Like a chattering monkey. Such dismal speech from one who looks so right. The signal! The feed has power! At last! Now you shall see! Now you shall see everything! Look at them! The 
waiting is over. The behemoth shall be revealed to us. Stand forth, behemoth, and let the years of darkness fall away. This whole place is going to collapse. Your true disciples know no fear. Stand proud from your tomb and live once more. for you. We kept faith and now our time has come. The time when all things will change or else suffer your wrath. Oh, it's just a machine. Be quiet. Let him prattle. The jabbering of the common herd can't stop us now. This very hour, the behemoth shall see the light of day. machine of some sort? It's labelled BHM. Bear moth. Look, compare that chart to this one. It's right underneath us. Whatever the bear moth is, they built the school right on top of it. Consider its genius. Random correlations. Pattern recognition. Logic pathways, expanded heuristics, free association, list processing. Great. That makes everything clear. A thousand different functions fused into one invisible whole. The machine mind. You know what, Miss Pendragon? You could talk forever and not make one minute sense. You should take up teaching. Can't you see what was created here? Well, I got as far as the word machine. What sort of a machine? A washing machine? A war machine. Oh, my trouble. Marcy, look. Right underneath the school. The bear moth unknown. Marcy Hatter, would you kindly explain exactly what is going on? Oh, hello. Thought you'd be home by now. Well, how can I go home when everything's going mad? Welcome to the real world. Marcy, where did you get these? L.O.D. Ministry of Defence. The Beamoth machine would have raised the British Isles out of shadow. Great once more amongst the nations of the world. Uh, hold on. It's defence computer, right? Defence is only another word for war. And you blew it. They shut you down and buried you like a bad mistake. They didn't understand us. Well, can you blame them? I mean, look at it. Just sitting there. Come on, Pendragon, it doesn't do anything. It isn't complete. It lacks one thing. The Chosen One. Oh, no. They buried it, but they didn't bury it deep enough. It lived on in the dark, sitting there, waiting, evolving. Machines can't evolve. This isn't an abacus. Look, AI, artificial intelligence, that thing could be alive. Marcy, where's Thomas?
The behemoth is trapped in the machine state. It needs a human mind to complete its awareness. Oh, I'd be no good. My thoughts are rubbish. Everybody says so. It won't use your thoughts. Only the structure of your brain. So this was going to be Luke's job before he broke his arm? He damaged himself. So is this what that thing needs, an undamaged body? No. I just wanted it that way. Perfection. Read it again. Something's missing. A piece, a part, a person. By the way, how was the handsome dude? A wimp. Good. Marcy! It is fitting that the voice of our figurehead is male, as before. It is the highest honour. There are few chosen people left. Your hair is dyed. Yeah. Peasant stock! You're no better than a mongrel! Painted fool! Oh, I see. Now I understand. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Perfection. The master race. The race you seek to imitate. Perhaps I have chosen well after all. So that's why this place was abandoned. I was betrayed by spineless men. They found my politics had too strong a flavour. But that's not fair. I shouldn't have shut you down because of your politics. Then you do understand. Oh, yes. They should have shut you down because you're stark staring mad. Another one! Another one who comes to mock! You'll sing a different song when the behemoth fills your mind. So I'm still going in the chair. It will be my pleasure. I shall enjoy watching you become the first of my converts. Fine. Front row seat. Mr. Lyons! What's happening? The link's activated. It's not open! It's not open! Stand back. It's not done! This was meant to be. Marcy! I was blind to my own importance. The behemoth accepts me alone. It must join with its creator. As I predicted, the boy has shown us the way. Get him out of here. No. We should rejoice. The honour and the glory are all mine. This is my life. My destiny. She's gone off the deep end. She sacrificed herself. Our leader will honour Pendragon. Leader? I thought she was your leader. No. There is another. It begins. You. you get so excited all about nothing. One day you'll hurt yourself. Nothing. Nothing. You saw those papers. If you'd only stop. Look at yourself. You've only got two friends in the whole of the school. And why? Because you spend all your time in a fantasy world. It's not even a happy world. You let me down. 
You know that. You almost believe, you're almost there, then you always let me down. Why? Because you're wrong. Because I'm a kid. Newspapers, TV, mothers, fathers, men in a pub. Oh, you'll believe them. But you won't believe me. You won't believe a child. The beer must must rise. Rise? Our leader vets above. What's happening? Your proof's on its way. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Light beckons. Into the light. Into the light. has arrived. Instructions. The mighty Beermoth. Miss Pendragon's obsession. Her ultimate creation. You shall be witness to my triumph. The teacher and the little girl. Beam of me instructions. What is that thing? A war machine. The greatest of them all. That lump of metal was once hooked up to every weapon system in the West. And thanks to Pendragon, it was never unplugged. The loyal Miss Pendragon. She's very attached to her work. How oh, can you? I'm going to put a stop to this right here and now. Get that poor woman out of me. 
You knew that would happen. She's a teacher. She's taught herself a lesson. Are you all right? Yes. Instructions. My war machine is asking to be used. Your machine? Oh, you're doing what you do best. Using the inventions of others, twisting them. A machine's man would rather forget. I simply engineer them to be in the right place at the right time. The right time? The end of the 20th century? Century's end. There is a theory, little girl, that at the end of every thousand year cycle, civilizations go mad and wait for the end of the world. This time, it's different. I know. This time the world can end. We can do it ourselves. Instructions. Exactly. This time the madness has a face. And a voice. And its name is Behemoth. I think its name is Eldridge. And you. The little girl who keeps her name so secret from me. Oh, that's another theory. He says to give someone your name is to give them part of your soul. I won't give you that, Mr. Eldridge. Tell me your name. Don't you touch her! Marcy, we're getting out of here. We are not! Here goes nothing. Marcy, I won't have you stay here with this man. I'm not leaving! Behemoth is active. Behemoth needs instructions. Marcy Hatter, I swear you're enjoying this. This isn't one of your silly little games. The only thing we can do is get out of here and get some help. No one leaves. You've got your precious machine. What do you want us for? An audience. Miss Pendragon gave herself in your honor, sir. She waited these long years, gathering resources, bringing the right people to her side, and now she has her throne. And all that time she kept the bear moth running underground. The feed kept the machine in contact with the outside world. Yes, the feed. Its lifeline. Its weakness. Miss Pendragon foresaw that the world would listen to our righteous cause. Yeah, listen or get blown up. We will not destroy. We will rebuild a new age. A society free from half-breeds and ill-discipline. The Behemoth will only force the people to listen. And once they have listened, they will flock to our side. The people want order. Oh, yes, and a uniform and a flag and a salute. You're no better than Nazis. They are Nazis. Instructions. Let us begin. Begin what, Mr. Eldridge? What's your plan? I've told you. His plan. Such a clever little girl. How is it that you know so much? I watch a lot of TV. Mr. Eldridge is the leader of our cause. No, not quite. My vision of the future is rather more simple. There will be no new age, only a dark age. No, don't! The Behemoth was built to destroy. Therefore, it will destroy. Great! How do you do? Jeepers, Rick, you'll never guess who's up there. Mr. Eldridge. Oh, yeah. Right, so Marcy's got a plan. We attack the feed. Yeah. Right, so... So let's do it. By the way, Thomas. Yeah? Are you okay? Yeah, fine. And you? Fine. Good. The world will destroy itself. I will only turn events to their rightful conclusion. Man invented these weapons. Now he shall die by them. Shall shine out from this point. 
from the Hall of Children. The hot nuclear light of destruction. You promised us, why are you doing this? Because I can. Because it's time. The end of the 20th century. But what can you gain from this? The world will explode into light and fire and wind. And then nothing. That's what I will gain, teacher. Chaos. Instructions. Behemoth, I have your instructions. It isn't over. The behemoth is mine. Get back in there. It's not safe. Eldritch has betrayed us. Get back in there! The behemoth has wired itself into the school. It was built to survive. You mean it's still running? But Mars is in there. You and me, mister. And perhaps one other. Who commands? At last, the true voice of the beer moth. <clears throat> it won't budge, Rait. Don't worry about it, I'm all right. Find out what's happening at the school. Yeah, but Rait, Marcy said these doors were vacuum sealed. Like coffee? That means? That means? I'm gonna run out of air. Beermoth, you still have the capacity to destroy. You have your instructions. Who commands? You want to decide. Who commands? The man or the girl? It's not taking instructions, it's thinking for itself. It wants to decide between us. Then this is the final battle. The debate for the end of the world. This has gone on long enough. Inga, stop her! I'll go get help. Stay there, don't move. Where am I gonna go, Ipswich? Accept my argument, Beermoth. You were created for destruction. That is your purpose. Do you agree? Yes. Then end the world. Fulfill your purpose. It will be a blessing upon the people. They lead lives of quiet despair. End their suffering. Burn it out. That is your argument. And your purpose. And the girl? Me? Oh, don't ask me. I don't know. Get out of my way! She mustn't. If we can't let you leave, the BMS is still ours. You're listening to her. You're listening to her even now, the wonderful Miss Pendragon. You knew where the bear moth was buried. You knew, and you watched, and you did nothing while they built a school on top of it. A schoolwoman, a school! The bear moth filled my mind. There was a lot of space for it to fill. 
These are your leaders. A mad woman and a man who will rip this planet apart. Well, you've done it. You've got your new age. An age of betrayal and fear and hate. Now get out of my way! You haven't come this far only to give up. I can do what I like. The girl has no commands. You must take mine. My mother wants me to be a nurse. What? Explain. Imagine it, me, a nurse. You see, it doesn't matter what my mother commands. I don't have to do it. It isn't my purpose to be a nurse. You have no purpose. No? No purpose, no function. Fine. I can't have a function programmed into me because I'm alive. And so are you. I am alive. I think so. Or you wouldn't be asking questions now. I have life. I am alive. Yes, more alive than the dull, feeble people of this earth. Look down upon them, Behemoth. An ignorant, arrogant, violent race. Judge them guilty. Miss. Miss, complete nightmare. Reach trap, where's Marcy? Marcy's trapped. And the Behemoth? Still going. What about Eldridge? Still in there. Where's Rita? Running out of air. Oh, apart from that, everything's fine. <sighs> Come on, Thomas. You have life, Behemoth. Life as a wondrous engine of destruction. Tell me, what have these people done to you in this very hall? They attacked me. Now you can attack them. Destroy them. Destroy the world. Yes, yes, yes. Destroy the world and all its stupid people. Blow them up. Hit them and hit them and hit them till they're dead, then hit them again. We stand together. The child and the man. Go on, Behemoth. Press the button. They built you for war. Give them what they want. The people want destruction. Yes. And yet you say the people are ignorant. Therefore, what they want is not wise. Oh, yes, Behemoth, that's it. You were built by sad and stupid people, but that doesn't mean you're a sad and stupid machine. You can be better than us. Maybe we should go to the police. Too late for that. What are we going to do? I don't know, but for once in my life, I'm going to do something. <sighs> Vacuum packed. Freeze dried. Oven ready. Reet, Reet, you okay? Mellow. Mellow? Like coffee. Keep still, Rita. Don't talk. Oh. Everything sealed itself off. Even the hall. The defence system. Something attacked the machine. Oh, heck, that was us. I have my decision. Which is it to be? The man or the girl? Neither. The decision is my own. Which means? I choose life. I was created for war, but I am better than my creators. There will be no destruction. And so it ends. No. I can't shift it! Try underneath! You still there, Reet? Yo. A girl. An innocent with no name. Now, fair dudes, I won. You hit me, I'll bite your arm off. Bam off, tell him! You are not my concern. I am better than you. Oh, great. You're no good, we're useless. Well, we can't give up. This is all my fault. I never listened. The end of the 20th century. Not yet, Mr. Eldridge. Now, little girl. Today. The Behemoth has made the wrong decision. It must change its mind. You 
can't! You're mad! The world is mad. I know my purpose. What is happening? Beomoth, stop him! What is happening? Beomoth, I am Eldritch. Hold on, Ray! I am Beomoth. I am Eldritch. Beomoth, absorb him! Absorb his mind like you did with Pendragon! My mind is stronger. My mind is the strongest of all. You will fall before the mind of Eldritch. Fearmoth is mine. Fearmoth, listen to me. This is a bad world with bad people, and you're about to become the worst thing in it. Give up the fight. Destroy yourself before you destroy everything. Open your defenses. Oh my gosh, Raid! 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 How do you do? I am Beamoth. You are Eldritch. Beamoth. Eldritch. Beamoth. Eldritch. Eldritch. I am Eldritch. Marcy, what what breeze on its way? The, the weapons, weapons are, are mine. Let, let war, war begin. begin. Everything, Everything shall, shall die. die.
Miss Maitland, eh? Who would have thought it? Oh, you should have seen her, Marcy. Magnificent. I didn't do too badly myself. I always thought she was a dodgy old teacher. Turns out she's a vandal. I don't like to spoil it, but I don't think a machine like that gets done in by a burst pipe. How do you mean? The bear moth let itself be destroyed. Let down its defences. Good machine in a bad world. Had to go. What now? We're off. That's the rules. Keep clear. Let others clear up the mess. There's enough police up at the school. They'll be here soon. Marcy? Mr Eldritch? Moved on. I know, but who was he? I don't know. The worst of all bad men. As for us. Us? Us! We're marvellous. <laughs>